you shouldn't settle down unless you're mentally ready to settle down. Uh-huh. And that's the problem. A lot of times we we think we want to settle down, but it'd be for the moment. But nobody's above making a mistake. Yeah, there's, there's certain mistakes you don't make, though. Mm, I mean, we all human. It's, it's the, the, the mistakes you could live with. It's human nature to be attracted to other humans. That's human nature. Like, that's that's one thing can't nobody eliminate. I, I can't be mad at my wife for thinking a dude who look cute. Like, that's that's human nature. Like, you can't be mad at me for thinking women look good. That's right. that's part of human nature. So that that's never going to change. Just acting on it. You can always say no. Yeah. So you, you could always, you could always like weigh out what's worth, what it's worth, like weigh it out. You rather, you want to lose your whole life for, for one time. Yeah, no, I, I, I get you. Um, so you stand. Uh, if I get cheated on? Mm-hmm. No. You're not staying. <laughs> No, <laughs> you just said all that for no reason. Is what you saying? <laughs> I'm, I said all that from a man's point of view because when women cheat, it's different. I'm asking you. <laughs> for me, you, I don't no. care what men think. <laughs> no, you're not staying no matter what. No, okay. Only because I know when women, when a woman steps out of cheats, that's a that's different. It's emotions attached. I don't think dudes cheat with emotions. You are now tuned into Black on Black Prime. Uh, disclaimer. No matter if we liked your movie, liked your show, or hated the show, or hated your movie, it doesn't matter. We respect you, shout outs to you, and we support you. And we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you. Black on Black Prime, we stand on what we say, though. And just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, we back. Hey. We here. We here for another trailer review. This one is The Serial Cheater. I think these these uh this director, <clears throat> this is the same guy that uh, directed the Merry Christmas movie that we did. Very Merry Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. Same cast. Right. And it's funny because we that's that was one of our first reviews. And that was one of the first movies like we really, really liked that movie. Uh, That was the most viewed. And we talked about at the time we talked about them coming back with that same group and making another movie. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did. But I I do wish like um, I wish they would have kept all the characters the same. You know what I mean? Like I feel like a few people are not there, but the like the main People like Comic J. Will, mm-hmm. um, Christopher uh, Collins, I think his name is. That's the main character. Yeah. Uh, um, the dark skinned girl that played his girlfriend in the last one. She's in it. Yeah. I just I just wanted them to have that universe, like uh, uh, same family. Yeah. yeah but it's yeah. the but it's still but it's still this one looks like it's gonna be <clears throat> just as funny as uh the Christmas one. Yeah, they probably got it on deck. I feel like a Thanksgiving movie or a Halloween movie could def- is, is definitely a, a time to do it. Right. If you're listening to us, uh, Kamal Smith, make that happen, man. We want the Thanksgiving one now. You gave us the Christmas one. We love the Christmas <laughs> one. Give us the Thanksgiving one, man. We want the same. I want the whole same family back. Right. I need it, man. That's We need that. Yeah, we now, need that. I know Comic J will about to like be hilarious in this. I already know. <laughs> right. Like, Him and uh, uh, what's, what's the other dude now? Yeah, um, the guy with the braids. Yeah, um, I know all these people. I can see all these people's name, but they don't have no faces to them on uh, mm. IMDb. So it's like the only person that got his, his face on it is uh, Sierra Angelia. Uh, Angelia, she plays Jada. I know Christopher Collins is the the main character. Right. This man. This. Uh, it's like. <laughs> it's like. Uh, you don't want to get too excited about it because we got we kind of got blindsided about a Christmas movie. We did. Like, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be that good, especially coming on two. Mm-hmm. But that kind of set me when I when we saw this preview, we was just like juice, like oh man, it's on, it's, it's on again. But I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> I don't want to get my hopes up. But it look it looked like it's gonna hit for the same thing, man. Yeah, it, I, I, I got faith. Yeah, I think it's gonna be hilarious. Um, but. Just like you said, you know, you just never, you never know. You never, never know. know. And this, this one comes we're out on the eighth. We're going in with high expectations. Very high. Y'all set the bar too. That's what it's, it's y'all fault. Right. Is that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the 
the Christmas movie set the bar for what y'all can do. So it's y'all fault. So now we expecting the same greatness because that movie is that movie made my top black Christmas list. Yeah, Christmas movie yeah. list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like they missing the uh, the bald guy in this one, and the guy mm-hmm. the, the the heavier set guy with the dreads. He's not in this. He one. was in there. What he was in there. Oh, okay, he was in the car. Okay, so yeah, he's in there, and uh, I'm trying to think of who else wasn't in there then. Uh, what's right, her name? I, um, a few, a few of the girls weren't in there. It's a few of them. It's okay. a few of them. Got you. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, but I'm juiced to see this though. This... I am too. I am too. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I, I just be nervous now because the last couple times I've been juiced to see a movie, it just ain't hit. But those are those are major movies I was juiced for. Mm-hmm. And they just didn't hit like that. But this one, I mean, how could you go wrong? You got the same, basically the same tools to work with. I think it's dope that they do that too. They got the same uh, circle of actors they use. I like this universe better than the other Tubi universe people. Like, you know, the ones that be like, we keep, we watch the Tubi movie and it's like the same, like, well, you got the Marcus Houston universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you got yeah. the universe yeah. with uh, the girls that played in like movies like Rotten. And that one No Way Out <laughs> movie, you know, the light skin girl, and then um, Biggie Smalls. That's another two. Yeah. Universe. So yeah. Like, it's like these little families. I like this family the best for a two. Like this group of people. Right. Right. Y'all, it's, y'all it's, running it's, the show. Yeah. This this one works. Yeah. The, the, Detroit is killing us, man. We get a, a Cali family. Like. <laughs> I feel like they. I feel like they out there. They just not known possibly. Because remember that one cop movie that we. Kind of saw that was bring that up. That was it. I'm I'm telling you, as as a person from LA, that's a universe of people because, like, I know most of the people in there, not personally, but I know them from just being out and about. We ain't talking about that. Uh, Chris, Chris Stokes, (laughs) uh, the the Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston, (laughs) the Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston world. That's a, a Cali family, right? I mean, Eric Mena ain't from Cali, but I, was just saying, I don't know. Like, I know Marcus Houston is from out here. I think. Yeah, he from LA. Yeah. But I... <laughs> why, why you saying like that, man? <laughs> like, like we was family. Or like something. what? I was just saying he from. <laughs> don't do that. I was just saying he from LA, man. Don't That's where that, he from. Man. Don't do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> that man. I didn't do nothing. That man's from San Bernardino. No, that, 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 to me, it's all L.A. I don't know when you cross that border. You cross halfway through Cali, it's all L.A. We don't know no different. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all, yeah, y'all. He's like, yeah, he from out there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we f- with Marcus. I mean, we messed with Marcus Houston, though. Oh, man, man, I ain't got, got that time right to do all of this, bro. Man. My bad, Come man. On, man. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, we are excited for this movie. Can't wait for this movie to drop. It's an interesting topic. Uh, serial cheaters. I want to see how they're gonna tackle. I want to see how they're gonna tackle that though. You know what I mean? Like the, the situation. A lot of cheek beat. because it's uh, because it, it, it's like uh, it's a lot of conversation of why dudes cheat and what is actual actually considered cheating. I don't think that's gonna touch on this and this. Yo, they will. You think so? Mm-hmm. Is that still a when book? I was watching the preview why, and they had a it was. Yeah, because it, 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 the beat was slapping the preview right, then they hit you with the serious pan like, and she was like, "Girl, he's good." Hurt, <laughs> chick. Da, 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 man. Yeah. Hurt, chick. It was. <laughs> he ain't gonna never stop. It was slap. <laughs> it was slapping, <laughs> but uh, I don't know because it because is it is it considered cheating if you ain't committed? No. Yeah, if, right. unless, unless you, are you, if you're in a committed relationship and you do whatever, emotional, like physically, it's cheating. Like, don't, you can't slice it any kind of way. Cause, yeah, I mean, unless you are the type that's like, okay, I'm just, we just dating. At that point, it's fair game. It's not cheating. It's just like, I'm just, I'm out here. Is it though? What you mean? If you just dating. If you just dating and ain't nobody like exclusive, then it's not cheating. It's just like, hey, like now, if you're smashing the person, right, mm-hmm. and you're smashing somebody else, and you don't, t- I feel like you should tell that other person, like for safety reasons. Mm-hmm. That's the but, only thing. So this is this is the best up thing, though. Like, so say you you dating somebody you like, mm-hmm. 
uh, they happen to go mess with somebody else, but you see you see it going somewhere. Like, could you be mad? No. You just gotta. You, you gotta, couldn't I, be technically I, I, unless you put it. Unless you put them on lock, you can't be mad. I mean, you you can do whatever you want to. You can be <laughs> upset. I mean, you know, we everybody got feelings, right? So it's like you dating somebody and early, and that person tells you it's like, hey, you know, I know, you know, we just dating and stuff like that. But I went back and smashed like somebody else and that point now <laughs> you can make a decision you know what i mean like i'm not like to me that would look like i'm not mad at you but i gotta look at your character now like who like who are you out here smashing <laughs> and are they out here doing as much as i am because usually when i'm pursuing somebody <laughs> i'm pursuing rough i'm pursuing hard you know what i mean like i'm trying to get you if i want you All right you out there I, just I, like, whatever i'm like yeah i don't i'll, I'll judge her for sure but I think it's crazy that, I, and I'll probably get killed for this. I oh. think a man's, I, I think a man's mentality is that, like we say what we mean, like, like um, yeah, I like kicking it with you, talking to you, but I'm still gonna do my thing. Mm -hmm. I think women sometimes hear that, agree to that, but don't believe that. So if you do get honest and be like, "Well, I did go over here and talk to so and so." In your face, they probably do that. Yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. But in their back of their mind, like, oh, this is over. Even though there's nothing started, really. <laughs> I feel like it's funny part what you say. I feel like it's the flip side. I feel like females can nah, kind of, I feel like a female would deal with the fact that you dating and a guy is just like, I'm going to move on. I think, okay, so this is this is, this is is the thing. Because you said uh, you should tell them if you, if you mess mm -hmm. with somebody else. Yeah. The thing is, men really don't want to know. I don't want to know if you uh like if we together and you telling me something. No, I'm saying I'm saying if we just kicking it and you go do something with somebody else, <laughs> don't tell, don't tell me. I don't I don't want to know. I, I know don't personally rather not know unless we together. Like I'd rather not know. The thing is, women they want to know because they want to know you ain't doing that. But a dude, you're right. If you tell a dude, like a dude will play like a school, like, oh, you know, I ain't triple who's just kicking it anyway. But that energy will be different. Like it's because it's, we got too much ego for that. It's messed up because it's just like, even though I'm not gonna be mad at you for doing it, I have to judge what type of person that you are. Like I kind of want to know Why? Just, just so I can know who I'm my wife and like you might be a smut. <laughs> And, and Wait, I'm not, what I'm saying is hold on, let me finish one point right quick. And I'm not saying you're a smut just because you went out and had sex with a person. Cause it's like we I mean we we you know I me, mean? I don't want to put all our business out. We know uh, a girl that's just went out with somebody that she was dating and he was doing, you know, good stuff to her versus a girl that you know is being used as a smut from somebody that's not dating. So if I'm dating you and taking you out, we doing whatever, and then some other dude is 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 using your face as a uh <laughs> as a device <laughs> you just hit three o'clock in the morning i don't want you no more but what i'm saying is what's it okay what's the difference then like like how does uh <clears throat> if she was already doing that before you if she got no no feelings attached over there how mm -hmm. does that affect what she's doing with you like how how you all of a sudden got attitude it's the ego it's not it's not an attitude it's just if you're telling me because i want to know right i'm the, the type that right. wants no, so if we have conversations, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's just like we having conversations, <laughs> and you be just like, "Hey, you know, I was like I also have been, you know, I'm dating. You know, you make that known early, and right. I'm also dating this other guy. Like we're going out, we're doing things. He's pursuing me as well. And if he smash and I smash, I can't get mad at that. But if you was just like, "Oh yeah, I want to tell you that I, you know, gave some dudes some head in the parking lot yesterday," I'm be like, "All right, well, you know, <laughs> take care, boo." You know what I mean? Like, do your thing. Like, I don't know. So this is the thing. I don't, All right. so this, I don't want to know more. <laughs> this is the thing about knowing, right? This is this <laughs> is the thing about this, this is the thing about honesty. This is the thing about honesty and why that don't work. Uh and I'm 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 gonna use you. Uh so you you talk to a girl, she tells you she's dating some other dude, like you said, he was someone too. Mm -hmm. You did you done did your thing with her. She did it, she did her thing with him. Mm -hmm. Now she came back to do her thing with you again. And then she do her thing with him again. Mm -hmm. How could you settle down with this girl if what you've given her is not good enough for her to just be like, I only want it from you? Because she don't know me like that. Like, how long are we? Like, how long I'm talking about, hey, no, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about sexual pleasures. <clears throat> what you mean? Like, if if she's dating, if, if we dating, she's dating two people and she ends up, like, giving the two of us both. 
Mm-hmm. And she can't. Was she trying to still choose? Now it can't be the back and forth because I want to know the first time. So if you said you did this a few times, I'm gonna be like, oh well, yeah, you you juggling. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what yeah, I'm that's, saying. You're saying more than one time. I'm talking about like as soon as you do it one time, like, hey, I just want to let you know that I'm I feel like you can give a person a chance to make that decision up front, whether it's up front. Like, uh-huh. you, all right. So say up front, she was already dating the dude that she was like smashing. You know what I mean? Like, that's different. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Versus like, mm-hmm. okay, you met me and met another dude kind of at the same time and he was dating and you kind of smashed us around the same time. That's a different story. And I kind of like, okay, you know, who you picking? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to uh, jump into something knowing that some girls getting their draws beat like right away. Cause it's like, usually ask them kind of questions. It's like, hey, you know, you seen anybody? Yeah, You're seeing can like, mean different things though. They're like, yeah, I'm out here, you know, I'm, I'm out here getting it in, giving it to everybody. And you make that decision. No, the, th- <laughs> the thing is, I don't want details. Uh, I feel like, I, I feel like, once we make the decision that is us, then all that is cut off. I don't need to know what you did or who you did it with because I got too much pride for that. If if we just talking, then we just talking. And what you do when you ain't around me ain't my business. It's, it's a gamble either way. I understand you saying, oh, we got to know for safety purposes. It's a gamble either way because a woman could lie to you and say I ain't doing it and be doing it. That's absolutely but true. But what, what I'm saying is until it's us, it ain't none of my damn business, just like it ain't none of your business what I'm doing. <laughs> Until it's I, us. It, I, I, I if we ain't put saying. that on the table, I don't want. I ain't finna sit down. Like, so give me a recap. What you do this week? Yeah, I, I get <laughs> with Chauncey. You you was with Chauncey. Oh no, that's it. Uh, we ain't. I ain't doing none of that. But don't you feel like there's a difference? And we've been, you know, you've been married longer than I have. So it's just like, mm-hmm. don't you think it's the difference? Like, in when you were single, somebody that you just like, you're not dating her. You know what I mean? That's just your. Mm-hmm. That's just your piece. That's a different person. You know what right. I mean? I don't got to know what she's doing because you just a piece. You mm-hmm. know, and I don't make a... I, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to sound like a, you know, <laughs> misogynist or like some type of freak. Like, like you sound, man. Okay, I'm sorry then. Um, <laughs> if we're just messing around with this woman, you know what I mean? And you don't got to say, like, you're not dating her. Like, you're not taking her out. Like, you just... Right, it ain't, no, it ain't no no relationship there. Yeah, and it's like, hey, what you doing tonight kind of person? Then you don't have to tell that person mm-hmm. anything. But that don't make her a smut either. I mean, a smut is in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> Sweet. If I feel like you was a smut. You was a smut in my eyes. That's what I'm using you for. Uh, yeah, you okay, yeah, same, we see that differently. Yeah, you can feel the same way with me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's my, you know, dude that, you know, do whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if I'm not, I feel like I want to know if I'm dating you. Like if I'm investing in you, that's I guess the type, the person that I'm talking about. Like I'm actually trying to pursue this person versus right. But you just said you could be dating and she could talk to somebody else. Yeah, like dating. But I want to know though. I want to know these things if I'm dating. That's you talking insane, to somebody else. Man. I just want to know. Like we're that's, dating. That's, that's... You talking to somebody else? <laughs> cool. I can make my decision now. Do I want to stick around him and try to beat this dude out, or I want to be like, you know what, you know, do your thing. Especially if you ain't picked that, yet. <laughs> that is insanity, man. Like, oh, I'm going to still stay with this person. How is that insane? Well, I want to know who I'm pursuing. That's not insane at all. It, uh, it's only insane is because uh, a, a title combines worlds. Once, if you, if you guys ain't together, if you just kicking it with her, what she do when she ain't around you ain't your business. Man, that's why everybody <laughs> everybody got the uh, the, uh, the wooty wop. <laughs> That's but what I'm saying is what I'm saying is either way you got to take her word for it. She could tell you, nah, I ain't doing nothing with nobody. She could tell you oh, every time we do, we use a condom. She could tell you whatever she want. You don't know nothing. Yeah, I mean, you you're right. I mean, I don't. I'm I'm talking preference, right? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. nobody. I would rather prefer? I'd rather you do this, but you don't have to tell me anything. No, and I make my decision regardless. Like you know, I could be dating somebody and she's a smut, and I won't know. Because she can lie. <laughs> Stop calling girls smuts, man. I mean, that's the only word I can use right now because that's not a bad word. Stop calling them smuts. Hey, you know these, you know these women out here calling us munches and eaters right now? <laughs> not me because I'm married. I, well, I, I, I'm, I'm not nothing about that. Men in general, they call them men eaters. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like uh, I, I, I just feel like I got too much pride to know that. 
No, I got too much pride to know that you interested in me and somebody else. Yeah, I mean, That's, I I'm off top. If you, if, if you, if uh. If I really don't care, I really don't care. Then that's not considered dating. Then that's that hookup thing you're talking about. But if we dating, if I'm if I'm trying to see mm-hmm. if something can happen, don't tell me what's going on until it's time to until it's time for us to make the deci- the decision. Because I don't want to know that you choose between us. I'm gonna take myself out of it. It ain't no choice to be made. You go be with him then. I ain't. You ain't finna <laughs> juggle. You ain't finna decide. Oh yeah, okay. I I, uh, I settle down. I think I'm deciding on. No man. Hey hey. I'm a catch. <laughs> <laughs> all right scenario there right would you rather look at it like this so you're dating somebody for a minute you didn't put like i mean dating usually lasts for like but until you really trying to make it official with somebody for like maybe a few months right like three months right 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 you've been dating somebody for two to three months she ain't been telling you nothing all you know is that it's a girl that you've been dating in your mind exclusively or whatever right and mm-hmm. somebody else tell you that they beating them uh, so it got to be a random dude because it can't be nobody I know. Well, I mean, yeah, it's just like like you just find out like maybe you hanging around a circle and that dude is in that circle that you might have went to a party was just like oh yeah you know and he started talking about a girl he messing with and it is just it's your girl pretty much a girl that you uh, been dating. yeah uh, you pursuing like is that. ended are, are you done pursuing is ended right there <laughs> like it's it's wrapped up <laughs> there ain't nothing else to pursue. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I, that's why I just rather know up front. I don't want to find out later. Just let me know so I can move on. Uh, but at that point, my feelings ain't hurt. It's just like it ain't nothing there. Because you're, you're, okay, you're so so the way hurt, you might have put some money. You might have took her to a nice place and been you know giving her all the type of sweet nothings. If if I okay, so uh, I got a rule with that too. I ain't doing none of that unless it's us. I ain't doing none of that unless it's us. I ain't paying for nothing with us. How you dating? How you dating? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you uh, what I'm shit? saying is, you got <laughs> hey, I, I just see the I see the world differently, man. We could pay for the stuff together if we kicking it like that. But I, I'm not fronting nothing unless it's us. Hmm, that's but, um, no. Uh, so I'm saying with with women, uh, emotions is everything, and sex is everything. Mm-hmm. If 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 the sex I'm giving is not good enough for you to only want it from me, if you can still go over there and get it from him, then you're going to forever want that when you see him. Mm-hmm. Therefore, let's cut this. Let's draw this, this draw this line right now because this, that's not going to end. Yeah. That's the only reason why I want to know though. I mean, everybody can, you know, we can agree to disagree. I just want to know just so I don't waste my time. I don't like wasting my time. So if you want right. to go out, if I find out you dating, cool. <laughs> Are you going to continue dating this person? It's like, yeah, I did not. I, at that point, I feel like you're just, <laughs> I, oh, I'm getting juggled. Okay, cool. Happy birthday. <laughs> let me, let me dip. But I, but it's also a choice, though. I could be just like, you know what? Let me beat this dude out. Or I can be like, I can dip. And uh, I don't want to, I don't even want to beat nobody out. I just, hey, now, now you're over there. I've done it before. Back in my younger days and my younger, uh, my younger smut phase is like, once, once you've told, once, once I, Get the understanding that it ain't leading to us. We can still do our thing, but I'm not thinking that path is eliminated for us. We just gonna do what we do until we fall off. What if she fire? It ain't no fire if if it's what if, if you she, ain't. It, what if she there ain't no fire. Uh, ain't no fire that can juggle me. I don't care yeah. if it's Megan Good. You ain't gonna decide. Oh yeah, I might. Nah, ain't no might. You gonna keep Megan Good around? I don't care what you say, bro. You might. Yeah, I just said. I said. <laughs> I said we're gonna do what we're gonna do, but we okay. ain't building towards nothing. You don't know that, man. Man, good put you on. Nah. She be just like yeah. <laughs> She was like, come on, get in this movie. Write I'll be my, like, thank write my, you. Write my next movie. You be just like, all right. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later, be Megan Turner. <laughs> be like, oh snap. I, I thought you said not nothing. at all. <laughs> not at all. Hey, if, if I, I refuse to be juggled. No, I get I'm you. Not, I, mean, not, I, I, don't, I don't think nothing you're saying is wrong. I mean, I just have mm-hmm. another. I just have a thought. I just have thoughts about wasting my time with with people, man. I was just like, let's stop. Let's stop playing with me. Like you know anything I mean? could be a waste of time. You could you could settle down and realize I really don't like this girl. That could be a waste of time too. That's your fault. That's, <laughs> that's your fault. In that case. No, nah, it it just happens because because everybody you meet got a mask on. Everybody's what you want when you meet them. That's why you. Vet. You still ain't met that real person supposed to vet people that, and i don't think people vet nobody no more people just kind of like do they feel like they know a person 
you know I me mean, right away and they jump into anything but i feel like you there's you put people in different situations you're gonna see that person like you take them out of town you bring them around your friends hey. your family you travel with nah, them man like this is all uh, this is this is all the mask is still on the the, the, the uh when you realize where you want to be is when you reach the point of being when you when you discover all their annoyances and you can live with it every woman every person is annoyed by something they they spouse does if you can live with it, that's the person you should be with. That's not that's that I feel like your wife get this there's stuff your wife do every day that get on your get on your nerves where you want to flip something, right? But you can live with it. It's not enough to be like, man, I'm out. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I mean, but it's the, it's just, stuff she does that get on your nerves. Right. It's certain things that just outweigh that. Like once you and, and that comes with time, right? Like once you start doing things that like, man, like, okay, man, you you taking my kids to, to practice, you know what I mean? Like you, you cooking mm -hmm. dinner and making sure this is right. And this is right. Like something that annoys me cannot outweigh those big things anymore, but that came with time. It's a perfect balance because you still get irritated. It ain't like in the moments yeah, when you irritate, you like, but you do, do take the kids to school. You don't do I, that. You just I, be I, like, man, get out my face, man. <laughs> yeah. But I still like, and mentally I, I got to keep that in the back of my mind. Cause if I don't, then that's the last one. People be just like, man, I can't do this no more. <laughs> Right, but no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you get, you have to get to that point. You have to get to the point of seeing everything she does that annoys you and being able to live with it. Because that's that's what you got to live with for life. All the great things you can get, no, nah, you can't get it from everybody. But all the great things is going to be great regardless. You don't have no problem with that. It's like you got to discover them annoyances, and can I live with that? And that comes with time, though. It takes time to find the annoyances. That so. comes with time. But it might in that time, you might discover something after she moved in. Like, why she put the toilet paper on the roll that way? If uh -huh. she know I don't like that. As a, as a kid, I was traumatized because my mama used to beat me for putting the toilet paper the other way. And she just can't understand not doing that, so I can't be here no more. It could be anything. I believe in moving in with the person before you get married. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you don't want to go in there. You can't not. discover those annoyances until you live with somebody. Yeah, true life. True life. You gotta they gotta use the bathroom and you walk in like, oh man, you didn't use the air freshener at all. Like you you just not gonna use the air freshener. It's like little things like that you gotta discover about somebody. Yeah. You no, wake you... up with that, wake up without that wig on, like, yo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's <man>. still you. <laughs> These oh. are the things you gotta you gotta learn to live with. I feel like you find out. I feel, I, feel, I feel like I found out about the wig early, though. I mean, but that was like as I'm dating black women, you know what I mean? It's like them wigs could them wigs come off at night. Right, but uh, my wife don't wear no wig, whether it's a bonnet or what. You know, what I mean? you know that it's coming. Yeah. Off. Like y'all, y'all. But what I'm saying, I'm just saying, you got to get that. You got to get them with that mask off, just like they got to deal with you with that mask off. It's it's, it's, it's certain. It, it's like you gotta you gotta I got, discover. I got, no, I got no mask, man. I'm the same person. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, but <laughs> for sure. Like she had to because I know you. I know you and uh I know you, I know you and how you I, I know how you when you get in your attitude and you don't like saying sorry. <laughs> I know how you get you shut the world down, you cut off all connection. <laughs> I know how you walk past people and treat them like a ghost. Dude. Somebody could be right there in the room. <laughs> like, hey, you man. don't apologize. <laughs> hey man, you don't know me, man. <laughs> What I'm saying is you got to have tough skin to deal with something like that. Like, he'll get over it. Or you can be like, man, I, I ain't apologize. This dude got me doing like, like he's seven years old. I am. <laughs> annoyances, man. Annoyances you got to learn to live with. Yeah. So no, anything could be a waste of time. So just finding out that the girl's talking to somebody else, if you consider that a waste of time, it's whatever. I just don't want to know until it's us. Because once it's us, I'm cutting off everything I'm dealing with, too. And now it's just us. I don't need to know that. Yeah. I got too much pride for that. I got too much pride to know somebody walking in the streets uh, touching the same thing I'm touching and I'm trying to move on with. That's why I want to know, so I could dip. Because they're going to shake my hand. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, you're going to find a reason. That. I've been in a situation before with a with a, with a, a girl's ex where she he find a reason to bring her name up. Like, just get out of my face, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've so, been uh, in a situation. Man, shut up. Gloria. I'm like, what? It had nothing to do with this conversation. You just wanted to say the name. Like, right. it's like you want me to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you asking me to slap you in your mouth right now. So, yeah, you know, Gloria was uh, like, hey, brother, we, we talking about basketball. Yeah, she used, to, she used to write heck of clean. She used to write, you know, she used to write like Gloria. Like, that don't have nothing to do with nothing. Well, why are you saying this to me right now? You want me to hit you? You, you asking me to hit you.
Oh my God, man, that's funny though. Man, that's, that's the. I mean, it's each his own. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But I'm sure so we'll, the uh, serial, so the serial, so the serial cheater, it sparks up these kind of these kinds of conversations. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. He's kind of we we like, we ain't even technically talking about cheating. We talking about like just the the the, the beginning. It's what you consider cheating. Yeah. So if so for me, uh, if we're dating, if we're dating, um, and I find out that you dating somebody else, mm -hmm. that's a sign of cheating. <laughs> what? That's a sign of cheating. <laughs> if I find out, like if if uh, I don't. know. It ain't a sign of cheating. That's just me being say, petty. We're just dating. Uh... I just don't want to know. <laughs> I just don't want to know. How about that? I just don't want to know about it. All right, I would do one last question before we shut it down. Like, um, is cheating a deal breaker at any point in time once you're with a person? Or can you, mm, uh, you, you kind of get through it, it depending on, you know, the part, like... Uh, uh, speaking from experience <laughs> yeah. and being put out on multiple occasions, it, it's the deal breaker for the moment until you wise up and realize how stupid you've been. You know, speaking from the man's point of view. Okay. So it's like you you need time, but you can because of what you probably have done, is that what you're saying? You kind of like deal with it, or because you want it to last and you're like, okay, it's, 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 one, it's, it's a mistake. So I'm a it's realizing it's it's realizing why you're doing it. It's sorting out um you shouldn't settle down unless you're mentally ready to settle down. Uh-huh. And that's the problem. A lot of times we, we think we want to settle down, but it'd be for the moment. But nobody's above making a mistake. Yeah, there's, there's certain mistakes you don't make, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are human. It's, it's the, the the mistakes you could live with. It's human nature to be attracted to other humans. That's human nature. Like, that's that's one thing can't nobody eliminate. I, I can be mad at my wife for thinking a dude look cute. Like, that's that's human nature. Like, you can't be mad at me for thinking women look good. That's right. that's part of human nature. So that that's never going to change. Just acting on it. You can always say no. Yeah. So you, you could always you could always like weigh out what's worth what it's worth. Like weigh it out. You rather you want to lose your whole life for for one time. Yeah. No, I I, I get you. Um. So you stand. Uh, if I get cheated on. Mm -hmm. No. You're not staying. <laughs> No, <laughs> you just said all that for no reason. What you say? <laughs> I said all that from a man's point of view because when women cheat, it's different. I'm asking you. <laughs> for Me? You, I don't no. care what men think. <laughs> no, you're not staying no matter what. No. Okay. Only because I know when women, when a woman steps out of cheats, that's a that's different. It's emotions attached. I don't think dudes cheat with emotions. Hmm. I think dudes cheat. Dudes cheat uh, for the pleasure of having sex with another woman. Yeah. A dude, a dude could cheat, uh, cheat with a woman and tell that woman, "Hey, I only want to do this. I don't want nothing else from you," and mean that. If oh. a woman is taking her time to to step out on you and cheat on you, she has been planning this out. It's been uh, there's a um, emotional attachment there. There's been conversations had. There's that's something that there's no bounce back from that. Unless you unless you pop dude and he gone forever. <laughs> Only way. You gotta take him off the earth. I know a lot of women hate hearing that. Like they don't they only cheat for emotion, but the women that don't, we ain't talking about Joe. Because mm -hmm. there's a, there's different types of women. There are women that go out there and can just go out and do whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? Dip and dip and die. But those women ain't cheating because those women have those women let it be known. I know women like that too that let yeah. it be known like this yeah. the woman will tell you like this is all I want from you, but yeah. they normally they normally either in a situation that's messed up, mm -hmm. or in a situation that's open, or not in a situation at all. It's never been a well. I have never come across a woman that's uh that's uh that's that's good in a marriage, uh faithful, and just been like, let me cheat, and there's no emotions attached. I've never seen that. Right. If that happened now, that that happened, I don't know about it. Yeah, but every situation I know, there's either emotion attached or they, it ain't nothing else going on. I got you. But yeah, if I get cheated on, I'm out. Yeah, that's a that's a hard one, man. Um, it is easy just to say, man, like I'm a dip, 
You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like right away, you know what I mean? But being married and whatnot, it just it honestly depends on what, like I need at this point, I need details. So I, cause I know I gotta know if I can deal with the detail. So it's just like mm-hmm. if I can't. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> so if you did it, it <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I ran into a person we was out and about, you know, what I mean, I was drinking, we was attracted to each other. And then like, say, say if something was going on between me and her, like we wasn't do, we wasn't having sex because we was going through our thing. Like it was all type of explanations on why I'm not saying that I wouldn't leave, but I'm just mm-hmm. saying, I, I don't know if I would just shut it down in that moment. Like I would need time, but I tell you a, a leave on that day is if you gave another dude pleasure and that was it. That's leave on that day. Like, I got nothing to think about because you decided you don't even want it for yourself. You didn't even get no pleasure. Like, you just gave dude... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, if you just giving a guy head, like, now now is a different story. It was just like, so you decided to cheat on me and didn't get nothing from it. That's why he's in our mind. He's in our mind. There's, there's already <laughs> emotions attached he's, to that. He's in our, he's in our mouth. <laughs> That's a <so> wrap. <laughs> I'm gone. And then to talk about divorce papers signed next day. <laughs> uh, so you'd rather hear like, well, he was very nice to me and he took me out. And, I, if you, uh, you don't have no story and no backup, no like, oh, we was going through this and we was going through that. So I just, you know, I was, I got tight with somebody. And I'm not saying I wouldn't leave. I'm just saying it'd be okay. So, it in that situation is different. Like, so say if say if I was just out there in the streets going wild, mm-hmm. and then I find out she did the same thing as me, I, I don't have no argument there. Then it's like we both got to discuss where we're going with this. Mm-hmm. That's different. But I'm talking about the state I'm in now, where I'm faithful. I don't got time to. I make sure I come home. I don't got time to cheat. I don't do nothing else. <laughs> all I do is work. <laughs> I don't, all I do is this. You know what I mean? That's, this is all I do. Yeah. If you find a, a reason to cheat within that, yeah, if ain't nothing going it, on, like, then that's a different story. Like we 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 was good, and then you cheat. Like you went to Cancun or something like that, and did some crazy stuff. Like that's you just reckless. And yeah, we yeah, that's I need to dip. There's emotions in that. I'm out. That that there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, I'm out. I don't want to hear your story. I don't want to hear. Let me explain. I don't hear now what you did. All of that you can save all of that. Keep all of that for yourself. I'm Baby, out. let me explain. Shut uh, up. There ain't nothing to talk about <laughs> at all. No. At all, and that's only because that's good because the emotion attached. Like you gotta, you gotta get rid of that dude. Gotta dude die. gotta die. You gotta die. That's the only way. That's the only way we can move on. He gotta die, and you gotta kill him. Because I ain't doing <laughs> the time if you get caught. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Black on Black Prime, and this is uh, we're reviewing a movie called Serial Cheater, but we kind of you know just dipped off into the topic about cheating. Um, let us know what you feel, how, how you feel. What is cheating? You know, is, hey, hey, and I, I, I know some women, <laughs> I know some women out there with some opinions on both of us, on both of mm-hmm. what we're saying. Drop it in the comments. We take it. We like the conversation. Open the dialogue, man. But watch this movie though. Uh, drops July eighth on Tubi. Yeah, it's a Tubi. It's Tubi, right? Uh, don't make me lie. Uh, I'm I'm assuming it's Tubi. Um, because I'm assuming to... it too, because that's what the Christmas movie came out on. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Um, it says ticket link in bio. I think it's coming out in the movie or or in certain theaters. Too. Oh, they might be doing a theater run first. Mm, yeah. But uh, I think he also he also hashtag Tubi, so it could be coming on Tubi at some point. But so, whenever it drops to where we could watch it, we're gonna watch it. Absolutely. So, you know, just follow uh, Moolah Films on Instagram, uh, Thomas L. Harris, and you cult. his name, Chris C. Official. Chris C. Is o- you cult too, right? Yeah, you cult as well. Uh, so you can know when it comes out. But anyways, though, like, share, subscribe, talk to us. We talk back. We ever, if you there, comment below and let us know if we wrong. Who was right in this situation? It Do you want to know? They don't write Do you want to know or are you Mario and I don't want to know? Because that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, let me know so I can bounce. Let me, dip. Let, me, let, me get, <laughs> let me get on up out of here. I'm wasting my time. I'm, I'm in my 30s, man. I don't need all this.
He said I'm in my thirties, like he got a bunch of years left in his thirties, man. I, I, said, I said it because only nobody need to know my age, bro. Like, yo, why you put me out there? It's too, it's, it's already, it's already AI. You know what I mean? It's too easy to find people. It was like, oh, he was that's his age. All I gotta do is look at his birthday. Now I got his address. Cool. I trying to put me out there, man. You know they got mean? your voice already too. Is it? If I try to clone me, like Tyrone, <laughs> clone you like Tyrone. <laughs> but anyways, man, uh, we'll see y'all in a minute. We out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.